No, it's great to be here and to talk to you about change management, a subject that is near and dear to me. At a session like this, it almost seems like change management may seem to be an, an unusual uh, segment to have. However, there are two important fundamental career goals that you all have as coaches. And I believe change management speaks directly to each. Your desire for career longevity and program success. Effective change management can help deliver each. And what we're going to do, I was an international business executive. I spent seven years based in London, where I was responsible for client development from Dublin to Istanbul, Turkey, and from Helsinki to Johannesburg. And one of my charges was to establish a common approach to client development that would span that territory. And that involved change. So I've walked the change walk, and I've learned the lessons from my own experience. Second sourcing is I've had great coaches myself. Uh, one of my coaches was at Harvard Business School, uh, John Potter, who is the LeBron James of change management. So what you're gonna get is, you know, kind of a potpourri of my own experience with some academic credibility, and I hope that, you know, you can kind of take it all in, adapt it to your own purposes, and put it to work. So here you are trying to figure out what, why, how in a crazy environment. My thesis is if you take the right approach to change, you can successfully navigate what makes it challenging. What I like to say is that life would be great if we could get fit without exercise and lose weight without diet. And you're chuckling, which is what I was hoping you were going to do, because you're absolutely right. You've got to put in the work. And the same thing is true of change. If you put in the work, you can get the change. But don't think it's going to be easy, and don't think it's going to be a quick fix. Structure versus flexibility. Too much structure, you turn people into robots. And they don't like it. Too much flexibility, and you get multiple ways of doing the same thing, which is confusion. Think straight line drives, for example. How are you defining it, and how are you implementing it to defend it? If you've got multiple ways of doing the same thing, all you're doing is breeding confusion. And when you breed confusion in your players, they lose confidence in you.